All righty, the last tri-tip I've got. Now, we did a tri-tip like a brisket. To be honest with you, I think it was shown in the video. It was being a little nice, but we didn't like it. I'm not disrespecting the people that do like it. We tried it because people recommended it. We did it. We didn't like it. What was more astounding was the people that commented and said, hey, you've got the uh, TMG Pits uh, Santa Maria Grill. That's traditionally what goes on with it. So it was almost like a cross between that being number one and number two was probably reverse seared, okay? Smoked then seared. I think we can get close to a smoke style on the Santa Maria, show you a little trick, along with finish it off and getting a good crust and all that stuff. So medium rare is the goal today, no doubt about it. Medium rare trial tip because of you guys. Simple, we are going to take out the package and season up with a little seasoning, and then we're gonna get our grill started. Very little trimming, a lot of it's already been done. We like a little bit of the fat, so I'm not necessarily worried about it. You can see right here that the grains basically run this way. So it runs this way, this way, and it doesn't really turn that much. Right there's the grain as well. So as long as we slice like this, we're gonna be good, okay? So we can remember that. Start from the corner and slice that way. Presentation side up, so we're gonna turn it upside down. You guys can see right there what I'm talking about. Even if we cut it up right through there and slice it this way, and then slice it this way, we're gonna be pretty good fun. All right, our Texas rub, basically salt, pepper, garlic, and seasoned salt. That recipe can be found at pelletsandpits.com. Uh, we're just gonna season it up. Then I'm gonna hit it with a little cue that. I know what you're thinking, why would you put a barbecue seasoning on steak? It just gives it something that a lot of seasonings don't have. I'm not worried about the sweetness. That's gonna act as a little caramelization. I'm more worried about like the chili powders in there and stuff like that. It just adds fantastic flavor. One thing I want to mention before we even get started on this video is a chimchurri. I 100% believe in the idea. However, I've had several and for some reason, I just don't agree with the flavors. I like the idea. I just, I just don't like it. I've tried fresh. I've tried the stuff in a, in a jar and you add your own uh, vinegar Tried it in multiple restaurants. Yeah, I understand the concept, I truly do. And I'm not bashing anybody that does or does not. It's just for some reason, I don't like it. So we're staying away from it. Only beef today, let's go start that grill. let this burn quite a bit and then I'm come back and once this is created my coal bed add a few more logs on there and you see the smoke rising we're going to trap that smoke up here with aluminum foil pan upside down and that's going to be the smoke that captures and we're kind of like reverse here that uh, trot here I'm just gonna set this on top of it because it's kind of windy and I don't want it to blow away. So now what we're gonna do is raise it because it's a little hot. Just using those little slivers as wood for a little smoke flavor. Maybe bring one off to the side. Fire's a little hot, you can see that right there. We're going to flip it. Right there in the middle. It's been on there for roughly like 35 minutes. That's really good, it's gonna determine how hot your grill is. Now we're just grilling to doneness. That is what beef is supposed to be right there. I agree with the people that said it. Medium rare, flame kiss, don't overthink it. K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. That is absolutely a thing of beauty. We're only 
currently hovering about 70 degrees right now. Just check it with my thermometer. To me, that's perfect. We're able to get some, uh, some marks on it. Our cold bed's forming. I'll take this. Take my piece to go. And I'm just balancing, raising and lowering. I want that flame on there, but I also love the addition of that smoke. Alrighty, we've pulled it about 120 degrees. And just the way we intended, look at all that juice. Look at all that juice. You see your grain running this way, the grain running this way. So we're just gonna cut it right here in the middle. And just like that. That is what you guys would expect when it comes to tri-tip, medium rare, almost edge to edge. It's very hard on that Santa Maria because so many sides are coming, but that looks great. That looks great. See the grains running this way? So you want to carve it this way. Thing blitz, ain't it? overcooked as can be. What thermometer do you have in there? Work it. Woo! That thing is hot. My dang temperature, I pulled at 120 degrees. So it rose 30 degrees. Unless this thing's lying to me. I mean, we checked it and checked it and checked it and checked it. That's what you call down overcooked as hell. That's not how we like our steak, medium rare. I'm not making another one. That is a, uh, I don't understand. I don't hide I don't hide when I mess up or I don't know something, but we have poked and prodded this thing all through the process. I pulled it at 120 degrees. I have never mm. seen a steak jump up 30 degrees. Maybe because the fire was so hot, so there was so much carryover cooking. I'll tell you one thing though, <laughs> that is tender as can be. That's what tri-tip is supposed to taste that like. That is good. Even if it's not medium rare, that is really good. Cause either my new thermometer is wrong. I mean, just trying to figure out how it happened. I mean, I don't understand. All right, so our trial tip number two is in the books. Completely butchered this one as well. I'm starting to think I probably don't need a YouTube channel. <laughs> Try tip is like your Achilles heel now. I God, think. I'm furious. This is just absolute dumpster fire. I just don't understand how it can raise 30 degrees. I've never in my life had anything raised, like even turkeys at 350 in the oven don't raise 30 degrees when you take them out to rest. All right, so there's my two try tips. I understand the idea. If you're going to make this, obviously you're going to cook it to a medium rare or the temperature you like. I bet there's one person out there that's saying, hey, I like it like that. I don't. <laughs> it's still very good though. It is very tender. It's flavorful. Ooh, I'm mad. If you guys are interested, you probably want to hit that subscribe button. I don't blame you. <laughs> I promise you this is not how we typically cook steaks, but I'm not going to shy away from the truth. Good, bad, or indifferent. This is what the channel's all about. This is what I'm all about. Uh, don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. On to the next one. I ain't playing around with this joker again. It is good. Just imagine it medium rare. AI it. <laughs>